Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for May 2nd, 2017. It's currently 8.23 a.m. And we have a cold front that is currently moving through the region, producing a few scattered showers and an isolated thunderstorm here and there. But for the most part, it is a quiet frontal passage. Temperatures pretty much are at its peak for the day, where temperatures range from the upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast. As you can see, the influence from the Atlantic is keeping temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over Long Island and also Connecticut. Temperatures behind the cold front, though, range from the upper 50s to lower 60s. And really, they're not going to move all that much for the rest of the day uh, with some scattered cloud cover. So overall, it's going to be one of those days where it's actually just going to be cooler, um, should I say warmer in the early morning hours than it is for the rest of the day. There will also be a threat for a few widely scattered isolated showers, especially through this afternoon, before everything finally clears out for this evening with tranquil weather conditions in place. On the radar, you can see the cold front moving through. What's left of the showers and thunderstorms is pretty much cutting through New York City metro, through central New Jersey, and just passing the Philadelphia metro. This is literally the cold front right here, okay? So behind this cold front, you can see a few showers here popping up over central Pennsylvania. Now what that is is that as this cold front is pushing out, we have cold air aloft here that is going to be swinging through the region. And what that does is called atmospheric destabilization. So as a result, you get a few of these isolated showers here and there popping up. Not a washout in any, any way, shape, or form for this afternoon. But if you do get into one of these showers, a brief heavy downpour is possible. Thereafter, high pressure being controlled tonight on through tomorrow, making for some pleasant weather conditions. A bit cool for this time of year, but overall, clear skies with uh, winds from the west around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, our low pressure system and cold front starts to exit. A few isolated showers will linger over the region. We've pretty much seen our high temperatures already in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Temperatures will bounce around in the lower to mid 60s for the rest of the afternoon. For this evening, skies start to clear, and overnight tonight, look for winds from the northwest at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, with temperatures falling off into the lower to mid 50s. For tomorrow afternoon, sky cloud cover is expected, with temperatures rising into the upper 50s to lower 60s for highs, with winds beginning to veer from the northwest to the northeast as high pressure moves over the region. On Thursday, high pressure will start to exit. Look for clouds to start to increase with showers developing towards evening. Winds will veer to the east around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s for lows and lower to mid 60s for highs. On Friday, a major rainstorm will be impacting the region. Look for very heavy rainfall, strong easterly winds around 15 to 25 miles per hour with higher gusts, the potential for localized flash flooding, urban flooding, coastal flooding, and also very poor visibility. All in all, a rather rough day for travel Friday morning on through Friday evening, with rainfall amounts ranging anywhere from one to three inches, uh, especially over portions of eastern Pennsylvania and western New Jersey. It looks like it's going to be a rather rough day throughout the entire region. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 50s for lows and lower to mid 60s for highs. On Saturday, that low pressure system will slowly lift northward, will continue to remain a threat with a few widely scattered isolated showers and variable cloud cover as pieces of energy around this low pressure system rotate around the region. For Saturday, look for temperatures to range from the mid 50s for lows and lower to mid 60s for highs. On Sunday, a continued threat for some widely scattered isolated showers, otherwise scattered cloud cover is expected. Temperatures will range from the mid to upper 40s for lows and upper 50s to lower 60s for highs. On Monday, another area low pressure will continue to linger over the region with a few short waves moving through. Again, a threat for a few widely scattered isolated showers. Otherwise, scattered cloud cover is expected with cool weather conditions, lows in the lower to mid 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s. And on Tuesday, Again, that upper level low and low pressure system continue to linger over the region with the threat for a few widely scattered isolated showers and also scattered cloud cover. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s for lows and upper 50s to lower 60s for highs. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.